Hello, my name is Gary Kernan and I build software for the cabinet making industry. Today I'm going to show you a little video de de demonstrating some features of StairMaker plugin. We're going to run Google version 7 and load the StairMaker. Uh, right over here at the bottom we have the little icon for the stair maker. Now when I start running it you'll notice that uh, the software goes out to the uh, website and checks to see how many days are left in your trial or if you're licensed. Okay so this person has 27 days left in the trial. This is the uh, input box. It's the main control panel for stair maker. Uh, all of these entries here are customizable in a file called defaults.txt. It's under the plugins folder, under gkware, under StairMaker. Uh, at the start of each session, these same defaults come up on the screen. During the session, anything that you change will it'll remember from each time you bring up the uh, web dialog box. Okay, so for now this uh, uh, these settings are okay for our first attempt at building a stair. Press OK and there's a curved staircase. We'll hit the orbit key, spin it around, zoom in a little bit and you can notice that there's stringers, treads and risers. Um, each are in their own separate layer and you can turn some of these items off and take a look and see all the geometry for the uh, each stringer and for the sawtooth and for the house that's or a routed stringer. Press Control Z, take it off the screen and we can uh, bring it back up again. Now let's say we want to build a stair that has two house stringers Okay, it's got a heel at the top where the, where the uh, stringers run right into the underside of the, of the uh, second floor. And we're going to make that floor a little bit thinner, 250 millimeters. Now, as you've noticed, this is in metric. That's because my system's in metric. If you want to set it up for English, imperial measurements for fractions, not a problem. This uh, web dialog honors that too. Okay, so we're going to add a um, guardrail for spindles on the inside. We're going to switch it over to classic. There are six built-in handrail profiles. You can add your own. Uh, and we're going to change the width of the stair to 1100 millimeters and we're going to turn off the radius to zero and let it calculate it out itself. So basically uh, there are some hints on a few of these items so if you set it to zero then it'll honor your degrees and it'll honor your average run. Okay, um, that's good enough for now. Let's go build that stair. So here's a stair complete with one handrail. Uh, let's go into the orbit and zoom in and you can see the handrail profile and you can see it's a house stringer on both sides. Okay, the, the underside of the stair. Here's the heel with the top and the other side didn't need one because the stringer is smaller. This stringer here may be a little bit too big and the inside one may be a little bit too small for what we want. So that can be changed. Control Z, pull it off the screen, bring this back up and uh, change this width from 250 millimeters, kick it up to 300 and now we'll leave the other one at 400. That's good enough for now. Now well, let's try the same stair but go open risers. 
Um, in doing so, we're going to uh, make the treads a little bit thicker, say 58 millimeters. And uh, for now, for fun, we're going to change the uh, tread bullnose to zero. So it'll be a square. Wouldn't do that, but if I was actually building the stair, nevertheless, you can. Uh, we can change the thickness of the stringers, so let's thin them down a little bit. And uh, let's make the floor thickness slightly smaller, which calculates out the heel properly. And um, let's give it a... F yeah, no, that's good. That's just, let's go with that. So here's another stair. And uh, use the orbit key again. You can see right in here, there's your heel on both sides at the top. And it's now a freestanding stair, same handrail. The fronts of the treads are now square. And the fronts of the stringers, or the thickness of the stringers, are now thinner. This handrail for spindle rail is centered above the, the uh, stringer. Okay, let's get rid of that. Come up with another stair. And this time we're going to uh, change and go to a 180 degree stair um, with an inside radius of 300 millimeters. And uh, add a flare. So let's go, let's add, go to 60 millimeter flare. Uh, everything else being equal, we'll go to two handrails and switch from classic to modern. Okay, build the stair. There you go. You've got curved steps now, as you can see. Uh, curved inside stringer, curved outside stringer, and modern handrails. Okay. Now, for fun, let's go back to a, uh, a closed riser stair and drop this down to uh, 25.4 millimeters or mil minimum code in some areas, which is one inch tread. Some are more, none are less. Uh, and a tread bull nose, let's go 12.7, which is half an inch. This will round out the front of this tread completely. And uh, we're going to exaggerate the nosing, uh, go to 30 millimeters. So whatever you want. Um, yeah, looks good. Let's kick out the rails for now. and just concentrate on, on what we want for the steps. So you can see that we have curved riser boards. We have curved treads. The treads are fully rounded on the front. And we have a house stringer for both sides. And it's a 180 degree step. So there you go. Um, there are some additional uh, items in the defaults.txt file which has to do with your codes. Minimum width of stair, maximum rise, uh, minimum tread runs, uh, as well as your dado depths for rabbiting uh, the treads get rabbited for the risers and the stringers get uh, get uh, rebated as well for the for the treads so um, let's turn off the uh, riser boards and let's uh, kind of zoom this under to the underneath part and you can see that there's a uh, dado in the bottom of the tread to accept the riser board. So the uh, all of the features of this 
produce results that are accurate down to within a thousandth of a millimeter. So you c can build exceptionally accurate staircases from these models. Uh, thank you. I appreciate uh, you taking the time to watch this video.